Today I'm gonna show you how to customize jeans just like this using heat transfer vinyl, a vinyl cutter, and a heat press. Everything used in this video is gonna be down below in the description so you guys aren't worried about trying to find everything. I recommend using high quality heat transfer vinyl for this type of project so you can ensure high quality for your customers. The heat transfer vinyl used today is from the recipe worldwide. Like I said, check the link in the description. I upload videos daily guiding you through your heat transfer vinyl and heat press journey. So make sure you hit that subscribe. And if you guys have any questions during this video, make sure you meet me in the comment section. We're gonna be going into Cricut Design Space so I can show you guys exactly how I designed these. We're gonna also be going over the heat press settings to ensure that your vinyl adheres properly. And I will also tell you guys exactly how to wash it and dry it to make sure you guys are not worried about it falling off in the wash. I don't like making my intros too long, so let's get right into it, guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and measure our pants because we wanna get the correct dimensions before we cut the vinyl to avoid wasting any vinyl. I always recommend you take this step because you're gonna save yourself a lot of headache by just double checking your work. So let's go ahead and see how big we're gonna make this. I'm gonna go with 23 inches by Let's go ahead and do seven inches. So I'm gonna do 23 inches by seven inches. Like I said, guys, I promise you, you're probably gonna mess up vinyl along the way thinking that you have it right the first time. So to avoid that, just take your extra step, take your extra two minutes and get your measurements and dimensions down the first time. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go into Cricut Design Space and so go ahead and design the pants. All right, guys, so we have Cricut Design Space open. We're going to go right here to text. I'm going to type out the, actually, I need all caps, the recipe. That's what I always put on my stuff. It's my clothing brands, the recipe worldwide. So we're going to go right here. The font I'm going to be choosing today is going to be Old English. When you download fonts, it's going to end up in your systems tab right here. So you have your Cricut and then your systems tab. So we're going to go ahead and do Old English. And then we're going to go ahead and type Worldwide. Now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Now this one, we're going to go ahead and lock it. Remember the dimensions were 23 by 7. Whoops. There we go. Same with this. Make sure we unlock it. 20, whoops. 23 by seven as well. All right, and there we go, guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. So you're gonna need a 12 by 24 mat for this. It's gonna be two mats, so make sure you don't forget to mirror your image and then mirror your image as well. So now they're both mirrored and now let's go ahead and hit continue and then let's go ahead and load up our vinyl, you guys. All right, so to cut the vinyl, we're gonna be using a Cricut Explore Air 2. This is available in the description down below in my Amazon storefront. This is probably the most budget-friendly Cricut um, vinyl cutter you can get. This one costs $199. It's honestly my favorite machinery piece of equipment that I have. I love it. I highly recommend this. So let's go ahead and load up our vinyl. Uh, before you do that, you're going to see a blinking light. We're going to go ahead and click it. It guides it right in. And then... So now our uh, Cricut sign is flashing. If you hit it, it's just gonna go to regular speed, but there's also an option that allows you to cut this at two times the speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that toggle on my computer, and then it's gonna cut the vinyl at two times the speed, which I love. So let's go ahead and do that right now, you guys. All right, so now I have my toggle on. For the pressure, we're gonna put the option on iron on. It's the option between vinyl and light cardstock. Go ahead and also, if you're doing a large project, do yourself a favor and try cutting a small piece of vinyl just to make sure you have the proper settings. I always recommend you double check your work. You guys know I'm a strong advocate about that. 
So please do yourself a favor and just, you know, small cuts and then, you know, cover your tracks. But let's go ahead and hit cut. And there you go, guys. Yep. Yep. Speed it up. All right. I will see you guys when this is done cutting. All right. So we have our two pet legs right here. I'm going to be using uh, tweezers. This is my favorite tool when it comes to weeding vinyl. I know a lot of people like using those little picky tools. Uh, if you use that, you know, by all means, there's no there's no wrong way. But I just personally cannot stand those. But yeah, when it comes to peeling vinyl, you guys, take your time, especially if you're a beginner and you don't want to mess up vinyl. I've been doing this for, for a few years, so I can kind of just yank it off and i'm pretty confident i'm not gonna mess anything up but in your case starting out just do this part really really slow also there's like a little hack that if you guys just turn your heat press on or if your heat press happens to be on and your vinyl is hard to peel you can just lay the vinyl piece down on the first you know part you know press it for a split second literally just a second so that there's some heat on the bottom part and then just run the vinyl over for a second and then it should peel just like butter but just do not heat it up too long or anything like that it's supposed to be you know really 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 quick but you know i'm still gonna have to get in between here um but i don't want you guys to have to sit through all this i want this video to be full of uh you know value but if you have made it this far make sure you hit that subscribe like and comment any questions you have i upload videos daily helping you guys create a clothing brand or just small business in general with the you know equipment that we have here today but i will cut right back when we're done peeling the vinyl right and there we go looking nice now it's time to go to the heat press uh, we're going to go over the heat press settings so that way you guys can ensure that these apply properly onto the jeans and withstand the washer and the dryer so let's get it guys all right so i set my heat press to 375 degrees for regular heat transfer vinyl but you can honestly go up to 380 degrees for regular heat transfer vinyl i stay between 365 degrees and 380 degrees what's gonna make the difference between those 15 degrees is uh your garment the brand of vinyl which i recommend you check out the link in the description and your heat press as well so those three components is what's gonna you know determine what your you know standard heat is but if you stay within those 15 degrees for most garments you're gonna be okay so let's go ahead and load up our jeans now before we apply the vinyl, it's extremely important that we um, pre-press our garment to take out any moisture that might be locked in there. So let's go ahead and give it a nice little 10 seconds. And we're going to make sure we cover the whole pant leg on both sides when we do this. Perfect. right yeah if you guys skip this step you run the risk of your vinyl not adhering properly to the garment which is why maybe people complain that heat transfer vinyl falls off if it's applied correctly it's not going to fall off all right so we have our whole pair of jeans pre-pressed all right So, let's get this right. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and press for about 10 seconds and then we're gonna scoot the pants up and then we're gonna also go ahead and do the bottom part for 10 seconds and then we're gonna do the other side. So let's go ahead and start it up. So we're doing 10 seconds, you guys. All right, I'm not gonna peel just yet. We'll go ahead and do this side as well. 
10 seconds. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the uh, plastic and then I'm gonna show you guys how I determine if I need to press it longer than that. All right. So we're gonna peel really slow. This vinyl is hot peel, so you can peel it while it's hot, but it can also be peeled while it's cold. I like to, you know, give it a couple seconds and then I like to peel. So, since we had a really good heat settings, we're not gonna have to press it again. And the reason why I know that is because you can kind of see, you know, the fabric kind of coming through. I hope you can see that. But if you see like the jeans kind of, you know, going through the vinyl, that's how you know it pressed in there properly. But if you kind of just see it super glossy, then you're probably gonna have to hit the heat press for another five seconds. But in this case, we're not going to have to. So let's go ahead and flip our jeans and we're gonna do the other side. Remember, we're gonna heat or we're gonna pre-press this first. It's getting a little sweaty here. If, if you happen to get a little sweaty, feel free to get yourself a little mini fan. Usually I keep my fan on, but I didn't want to turn it on so you guys can hear my audio clearly. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Let me make sure I like this positioning. All right, I'm gonna just trust my gut. It's off by a little bit. It's okay. I like slight imperfections sometimes on my personal pieces. Just a reminder not to take everything so serious. But then I'm also kind of contradicting myself because I am a perfectionist. All right, I'm pretty happy with the placement of that. All right, guys. Ten seconds. All right. All right. All right, so this part came up a little bit. That's why we peeled slowly. So I'm gonna wanna just hit this one section for about five seconds. That's why we peel slowly, guys. Cause sometimes there's little sections that we missed. In the right. So this part is coming up. So we're gonna have to switch. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna peel this first. And then that last letter, I'm gonna cut off. This is where technique starts to come in handy. You know what I mean? When you start having problems like this, you'll start to you know learn how to take care of it. All right, so now we can just focus on these two right here. All right. I'm gonna put this underneath it. This is just a Teflon sheet that 
I just fold it up. It just ha helps add an extra little layer and it's gonna make sure that I press, oops, sorry. Hope that didn't give you motion sickness. All right, so we're gonna be able to focus on this bottom part. All right. There we go, guys. All right, there we go. Here, I'm gonna make sure I give you guys a better angle. And there you go. You just customized a pair of jeans using heat transfer vinyl and a heat press. For the washing care instructions, just make sure you're washing in cold water and then in the dryer, just use medium to low heat. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you and I'm super proud of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and if you guys have any questions, make sure you meet me in the comment section and make sure you click the links in my description. You'll find everything used in this video.